Hello everyone, I'm Russian Mokolover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire. So last time, we didn't do a whole lot. We didn't get that far ahead of time, we were just kind of reorganizing ourselves and making sure that we are building up more of our armies, which we will continue in this episode. So, uh, a few comments. Basically, they're about obtaining large populations to pay lots of taxes. We want large populations of poor people, so they pay lots of taxes. Um, and we should look at... In Africa for this. So, right now, I'm thinking two things. We can go to war with Sokoto, or we go to war with Ethiopia. Now, Sokoto, population-wise, they're pretty dense around Kano, which is right there. There's over 600, almost 640,000 people there, half a million there, third of a million, and then quarter million. But Ethiopia, it's a little more spread out. 375,000, 200,000, 300 some. I mean, they have precious goods there, even though it looks like gold. I mean, RGO-wise, there's not really a whole lot around here. Of course, except for that gold, which would be... or precious goods, which seems very, very nice. Sokoto, how... let's see, where's that? Yeah. So, around here, they have foodstuffs. You know, livestock, grain, fruit. Hmm, I'm really not sure which one I want to take out, because this would make it look nicer if we took out Sokoto. But... If we took Ethiopia, that'd be a great addition for us because, some, what was this, Zanzibar can't colonize, they're uncivilized. Now, Portugal might, we'll probably grab it eventually, but we can, might be able to get to Kenya, maybe. From here, we might be able to get to Bafara, something like that. And Russian Ethiopia sounds like a really nice addition. Now, right now, we, we're not making a lot of money just because I did set a lot of things off screen to make sure I get a lot of trade stuff. Like, I want a ton of stockpile of goods because you never know. That there might be a great war someday, where we can't do very much. Also, another comment was for me to get commerce tax, so that I can prove my factory efficiency and make sure that they're actually turning a profit. That sounds like a very, very good idea. Um, I'll probably do that. I don't know. Just oh, uh, sure, Empire Brazil. Sure, why not? Ooh, half our population can read though. That's pretty good. And who is that? Ashkenazi. Oh, that's cool. All right, very nice. Oh, there goes Prussia, our ally. And we really want to finish up the thing over here. Now, I did want to go to war with China, but China is China. And China is special. we got to wait for more ships to show up here. Because we're making a bunch of ships that we can send over here. Take those guys out. Cool. So that means we are done, it looks like, with building that army here in Vladivostok, which is good. Next up, we're going to build, well, probably an army for... Just a brigade for this guy. Because he was hit pretty hard. And he needs to be a 60 stack. So we need one more artillery piece. If I click randomly, you might find one. Maybe not. Cool. In Europe, uh, the artillery piece. Near East, North, North America. Uh, Lithuania. Cool. Let's get that done. Something in the world for industry. Can we make people like us a little bit more? Maybe. Yes. 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 Oh, there. Of course, the UK is at war with Tukari. Oh, that. Oh, no, okay, so they're going to go over with Sokoto. So beat them. So let us plan ourselves. Ooh, an ironclad. Nice. Another group of ships to make. So we're making these ships over here. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, demobilize, whatever. No one cares. Just make a few capital ships. And by capital ships, I mean man of war and frigates. Just so that we have something to defend against a potential Ethiopian group here. I'll go and do that. That'd be fine for now. Uh, middle class. I don't mind. Maybe just a little bit more taxes. Okay, that's good. Nice. Wow. We just went up 0.5% for literacy. That's amazing. Awesome. More max speed. That's good. Just keep these guys centered on what we need. Electricity sounds really awesome. More population growth sounds awesome. Let's see. Telephones. Uh, and I'll talk about another comment here soon. Enough. Organized agriculture. Oh, late classical theory. Oh, we get luxury furniture. Oh, but I do want... Oh, I need to make better ships. It is currently 1884. So the best we can do is this. We can make pre-dreadnoughts, which is okay. We get battleships. Cruisers. Actually, I don't mind making a lot of cruisers, actually. That's a good idea. Right now, we have quite a bit of colonial points. I think we can wait. You know what we're going to do? I'm going to do some of this. Organized output efficiency. Let's get this one. Lake Classical Theater. We can make some furniture. That'd be kind of nice. Right? That gives us furniture. Yeah. That's good. 
Nice. Uh, living wage. A place to live and escape the weather. Some clothing for warmth and food. Some food. Uh, bread and cheese one day. Perhaps meet a good day. We don't want much. We don't need much. We just need some necessities to be able to live and work. A pamphlet has been published in the Russian Empire detailing the plight of our nation's poor. The pamphlet has gained a fair amount of national attention and some members of the parliament have started arguing in favor of legislation enforcing higher minimum wages. Hmm. Build support. Hmm. Minimum wage? Well, what if we just paid you what you're worth? Well, I'll do a trinket minimum wage, just for funsies. Just so that we can say we're relatively progressive here. Uh, yeah, Sokoto, sure. I was going to kill you off later, but it looks like we're going to go to war with Ethiopia then later. Oh, the British really don't like them. Mm, then again, the British are very special. Oh, build an army down here. We could... Actually, war has quite a bit of population, which is awesome. Colonial discontent. Equitable stuff. We make no concessions to threats and violence. Of course we don't. Also, I did check this out. Why is Cuba so freaking socialist? Look at that. 39%, 36 in the other place. 37? Jesus. They're liberals and socialists. Even Haiti. That's pretty darn liberal. Holy cow, that's a, that's a big chunk. 47%. And socialist. Guess it makes sense. And we still have, I know we still have Milton socialists in Port Arthur. Just gotta wait a little bit first. Oh, yeah. Just combine those guys. Thank you. Can I... Uh, is that good enough? That might be good enough. Let me raise this up just real quick. Alright. Oh, synthetic dies. Nice. 39,000. Um, that's not good enough. Just We'll wait a little bit longer. Cool. At 51%. Very nice. And we'll double check our national focuses. Nice. And oil. Oil. We got oil now. Great. Love it. Come on. Keep making ships faster, faster, faster as we try to get our infamy down. Now, let me... Oh, yeah. I started colonizing this area too. No, over here. Good. Also, check out the colonial map mode just so that... Someone did tell me that in the comments as well. Just to see what is available. That's how I spotted this area up here too. Now, let me talk about that last... One of the more super important comments from yesterday. The way HPM works is apparently you get a potential... Um, when you have Great Wars, you have a Dismantle the Empire cast a spell, which means you can take another enemy's nation's colonies if you win the war. That sounds like fun. Don't call in too many allies because they might take more colonies away from your enemy for some random reason. Oh well, at least at the time of this recording. So, that's what we're going to do. If we can, we are going to try to dismantle enemy empires. Most notably, maybe the French, maybe the British, Austrians maybe, I don't know, we'll see what happens. The Ottomans probably, so we'll see what happens. Colonial Magadan, trouble in Sakhalin, uh, whatever. Status quo. Oh no, this is important. Conflict is brilliant. Sakhalin. Shared sovereignty has failed, and with no official, official border between the Russian and Japanese claims, settlers from both sides now fight over territory. For stability's sake, we must clearly define our borders once and for all. There are several solutions we could propose. First, we could officially divide the island between us and Japan, essentially, uh, essentially legalizing the status quo. I'm sorry, I can't speak today. This would be generous of us and would improve our relations with Japan. Second, we could push for full control of Sakhalin, offering in return to concede the northern Kuril Islands and make resettlement payments to those displaced. This would represent a modest profit, but Japan might not agree to it. Finally, we could demand full control of Sakhalin and offer nothing in return. This would hurt our reputation <clears throat> and would badly offend the Japanese, who would probably refuse. How should our diplomats proceed? You know what? I really don't care about this dirt over here. I mean, it's 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 just dirt. I mean, yeah, other dirt is more valuable. I'd love to have all this, but there's only so much infamy that we can have. Demand all of it? Yeah, no. No, no, no. Territorial exchange? I don't mind to territorial exchange. Legalized status quo, but we lose to infamy. That's kind of nice. And the faster we do that, the faster we can go to war with Ethiopia. I'm just going to do legalize the status quo. All right, Treaty of St. Petersburg. The treaty has been signed. Our borders in the Sakhalin and the Kurils are now settled. And ships from both empires have guaranteed access to the Straits of Tartary and Sea of Okhotsk. We should ease tensions in the region considerably and ensure close diplomatic ties between our nations. You know what? If we can get ally with the Japanese and use them against, like, the British or the Dutch why not I'm thinking long term here the Japanese while they are a great power we have great relations with them I think that's great I think that's really fabulous so we need 20 transports because I don't think these militant socialists can really enforce their demands on Russian Feng Chan also, I'm having some coffee, so if I don't speak, that's why. Well, let's see. 
recruitment mail. Oh, cool. I definitely need more armies down here in Europe. I put quite a few armies in Asia. Oh, get rid of that. That's disgusting. Let's see. We can't have 60 there. We can put a lot here. Nice. Let's grab another 60 stack. And it will be, let's see, North America. Probably not near east. Why don't we use it? Two, three, four, five, six. Get two more. One, two. And then one, two. And we'll get one, two, three, and a hussar. Very nice. Give me those big boys. And the commission warship arrives from the Dutch. And I unlock flintlock rifles. Amazing. Nice. Four transports. I'm going to need transports a little bit faster. And these ironclads are okay, but, you know, I like to make something else in, in ironclads. Oh, 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 what's going on? Wait, so the... What the heck? How many people are trying to beat up on this one guy? Oh, no, 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 no. It's the Brits versus Austria. Carl of Spain, France. Oh, mm, yes. Yes, this isn't a great war, but this is nice. Yeah, kill off Austria, kill off France, kill off each other. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Um, Organized factories? Yes. Yes, please. Um, coal? We can build more coal stuff here, I suppose, but... There's really no... Oh, uh, steamers. Uh, you know what, Austria? Yes. Priority is saving the rich? No, we don't We don't care who's saved too much. Get some steamer shipyards there. Actually, you know, build up those stuff, too. Build, build, build. Nice. Awesome, look at that. Oh! Oh, well, it's a state now! Awesome! That's really, really good. I think. I could be wrong about that. Nice. Let's double, double check this. Good, kill each other off. Probably Kursk is done with clerics. Let's see. Or not, they're point two. Poland has had bureaucrats for a long time. Georgia, you guys. Okay. Intellectuals? I think I'm, that might have been a misclick. Let's do that <laughs> instead. Bureaucrats are a little more important there. You guys down here. Oh, you're already maxed out. Oh. 11% Russian, nice. Bureaucrats are, of course, down here, and bureaucrats are in Haiti. Which is good. Alright, very nice, very nice. Prussia, you know what? With this war going on between Austria and France and Carlos Spain, you might just have a good time. Honestly, I don't want to ally the Dutch just because they're down here. And I do want to take, kind of take the colonies and stuff later on. Hmm. Are they allied with anyone else? The Turks? Yeah, they're allied with the... No, I don't want to ally with them. No. Alright, so, I really need these ships to be done. I need to research, I should have researched the things that allow us to make ships faster. Because I want to get to Ethiopia before anyone else does. I could just, of course, just build ships somewhere else out of the port. Good. Make them, make them, make them. The Shanghai Treaty Port. Um, I guess we didn't have the modifier already on. People are leaving. Whatever. That's cool. What is that? Oh. Loan interest. Oh, that's good, I guess. On halt. No thanks. We have... Ah, Tanutuva. Do we get a decision? No? Okay. And we have organized factories. Let's grab that one. Let's just build stuff faster. Fire control systems. Great. More colonial prestige. We should have got that before. And I definitely need to make this guy have one more thing on him. Got a sphere of influence. Persia. Persians are Persian. They can do pretty well. Oh, come on. Invade. Please invade these guys. No! No! The Dutch... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Annex... Oh, no, Ethio... Oh, God, no. No, no. That's what I wanted to do. Hmm. Italy? Hello, Italy. Prussia... Oh, we're above America. Look at that. Actually. There hasn't been too many major wars that has really destabilized countries yet, so... Please, just please, 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 please... Come on, make ships faster. The Bel oh, the Belgian Congo. Ooh. Uh, Luxembourg, I'm thinking nah for now. Oh, man, I wanted that area. Oh, hello. Belgian Congo Free State. Well, then. Uh, satellite of them, and Belgium's allied with it's in the French sphere. Is there anywhere else? God dang it. They keep taking things. I'm just a little bit too late taking stuff. Oh. 
Brands accepted. No, that's disappointing. Come on, kill each other off. Come on, man. Hmm. Partially westernized. What if I did, did, did these guys? Demand concession. That's not really worth it. I mean, we could always go to war with China. I mean, there's always that. Oman. Portugal, who are you allied with? Ah, uh, sure. Why not for now? Sure. Uh, you even took... You even took that little state there. Calabar. Hmm. I don't like this. Stupid Europeans meddling in my Europe, my African affairs. <laughs> uh, don't make me take out Afghanistan. Or Persia. Even though they're under us. Thank God, that's done. Uh, let's see. Commerce. Well, this gives us time to research more stuff, which is, which is okay. Scientific management. Output. Collectivist theory. Sure. Let's unlock Karl Marx. Hmm. Russian patriots, yes. No, the Dutch are doing well. No, that's what I wanted. You pieces of garbage. We can't core anything. God dang it. I'm we gotta make sure, though. Because all, all this is that's happening. Oh, they're taking out... God dang it. I mean, I could take out these guys. But it's not really worth getting these guys. It's really not worth it. Hmm. I don't want to take this out, because I took this out when I was playing as Japan. Commission of Worship, eh, that's fine, whatever. We'll do that for now, we got enough money for it. In the sphere... Hmm. God dang British. Oman wouldn't be really worth taking out either. Bahrain? Court... Oh, that's not bad, I like the goods. Ah, uh, god dang British. And it's really not doing... Oh, we'll let's do that first. See what happens. Hmm. Oil? Nice. Very good. I love the oil. For five infamy, it's not really worth taking Zanzibar out. Hmm. Population-wise, there are really not a lot of people around here. Hmm. That's the UK as well. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll focus mostly on taking other things out. What about, what about China? They're uncivilized still. I mean, we can still beat them up. Dismantle fortifications, punitive expeditions, sounds like fun. What if we just wanted to acquire a start an entire substate region? Demand can set. That wouldn't be bad. Acquire a substate. A region from an enemy substate. Hmm. We can get some of this. Withdraw, of course. Economic reforms here. Huh. Trade goods. Oh, we can make some cotton. Return to the third Rome. Interesting. Let's see. In sphere of influence. Puppet. Hmm. Form Turkestan. I don't know which one is better. I really don't know which one against Jing China. I, I mean, you could always do punitive expeditions, but that's really for, like, people that are super far away. I mean, we share a land border with these guys. And that's nice and all, but I think demanding concessions might be more fun. It's only two and a half. You know what? We haven't been to war with China in a long time. Screw it. Since we can't take flipping Ethiopia, Dutch people, that's why I didn't ally you, you piece of garbage. Ugh. Oh, terrible. The Dutch. What colonizers? Can I get more reforms in the country, please? I gave them... Actually, I did give them minimum wage. Forward. Extra, extra. Grand strike in St. Petersburg. Workers demand higher wages. Extra, extra. extra. General Strike In, a socialist newspaper named Forward, has been published in St. Petersburg. It reports about various strikes, current news, and socialist movements and politics, both close to home and abroad. There's no leftist media in the bias. No, leftist bias in the media. I can't speak. Ooh. All laborers? All... Ooh. Um. Someone did say I should become the Soviet Union, though, like, as a comment from yesterday's video. Uh, maybe. Maybe we'll see what happens. I don't know. These armies are pretty... They should be... What, what's wrong with you? Why? What, what's wrong with you? Uh, what was that other army we were trying to make? Wasn't it in... Oh, it was down here. Okay, good. We're still making it, which is fine. We're making some more guards. I don't know. I did type over between this episode and the last. And all these other nations, they really don't have that much, like, infamy. It's at least the UK, because they seem to be going to war with everyone. But, you know, whatever. 
Mm, digging cap. Let's get some more defense. Grab a little more defense would be nice. Get some more forts too. Got, like some rebels down here. Good. Militant socialists, which are a little bit of a problem. Whatever you know. Uh, Karl Marx. Hello, Karl Marx. Hello. We're third in the world as we should be. Anyone else we should really pay attention to? No, not really. What about the Turks? We don't care about them. What about oh luxury furniture? Serbia loves us. And the Greeks, they like us. It costs us point .1 infamy. Oh yeah, we're gonna beat the snot out of China now. Oh, we get, okay, so we can only get now Kashagar, which is this area over here, I think, and Ur Urmaquai. Which is, you know, it isn't great, but it is what it is. Actually, which one is better? Oh, there's a lot of armies around here. Population-wise, there ain't much. There's some cotton. You know, that's fine. Let's, let's at least get something. Oh, get out of there. So, because it's getting, looking, looking pretty bad over there. That's okay. You know what? Whatever. Nope. Oh, God. Demand concessions from us. <clears throat> All right. Well, might as well do something here. Should have done another cast of Belli. Let's see. Require substate. It's 11 infamy, though. Hmm. Which one? Kashgar? This has four. I want to take Kashgar. It's going to look terrible, but that's okay. Portugal won't accept. Afghanistan. Persia. Let's throw everyone in there. Because we can. Oh, wait. Maybe I should have waited to get my guys a little bit more. Whatever. A little more strength first. Cool. I'm going to say this 60 sec first. Oh, and we did that. Good. Harbin. Ah, uh, fine, so be it. Start to come down to Korea eventually. Oh, and that's the way we have a direct connection there, so we can do that anyways. Cool! Let's grab... Electricity. And, oh my goodness, now we can build up tons of forts. Tons and tons of forts. Oh my goodness, I might just do this off-screen. That's... That's a lot of forts. But hey, it only costs us to go to war with China for not very much, but it's only point one infamy, so that's actually not bad. Something tells me we'll probably never get invaded up here, but you know, whatever. Whatever. Cool. No, hello, guys. Very nice, very nice. And we're getting rid of them, good. Nice. That was over there. Oh, yeah, you guys are over there. That's right. You guys come down there. Oh, we might be losing over here. That's not good. The Koreans can definitely hold out. For now. We're running down there. Great. Okay, thank you, thank you. You guys are moving there. You guys are moving over there. We're still trying to win over here. It is what it is. Oh! Yay, nice, we showed up here. Finally, thank God. Just go to War with China if you need stuff. And an American warship, nice. Yeah, this isn't good for the economy. Hmm, who knew? You guys come down. Oh, that's probably a bad idea to attack there. You... Help me take out Korea. Ooh, that is not good. Hold on, boys. Bavaria, I've said this before, no thanks. Oh, we actually won right there. Nice. Uh, you know what? You stay there. You come down there, and you come right there. Uh, patriotic, uh, shut it down. Now we have enough transports. That goes them, good. Pyongyang. I can't, s what is this like? Oh, that's a lot more guys than we have. You get up there fast. There are a lot of Chinese people here. Who knew? Take those guys out if we can, maybe? Uh, fine, so be it. Oh, look! Prussians have arrived. Actually, how much war score do we need? Oh, four. We have 40. There's no point just keeping the war over there. Now that's disgusting. That's really disgusting. <laughs> 
But this is a good lesson, just because we should probably spend a little bit more time improving our military still. Right, so you guys come right there. Very nice, very nice. And you guys, you know what, stay in Port Arthur. You know what, I'm going to double the army up. Stay in Port Arthur. <clears throat> stay there. Stay there. You guys stay there. I'm going to send you to come up here. Uh, is supply actually okay there? Yeah, supply will be fine. Lower this down because the budget can't take it. And then you guys actually stay there. And put one of you guys here. Cool. Build the ports up. Can I not build railroads? No, it's a desert up here. No wonder. But I can build railroads in the mountains. Alright, not bad. Uh, yeah. Well, at least we got something out of this. You always want to feel like you got something. Order stored in Russian Feng Chan? About time. Good. Mining boom in Kiev? Nice! War between Russian Empire and the Qing Empire. Well, it didn't last that long. I did it. I'm gonna need more armies up here, too. Hmm. Go and throw them down there. That's fine. Let's see. Anyone else? Italians. Prussians. What about Sweden? Let's have better relations with the Swedes. They don't like us because we have Finland and they want Finland, probably. Oh, nice. We can statify that. Lumber? Let's get a sawmill, I suppose. Look at all these projects. Good build. No, oh, Clipper. Oh, that's not really worth it. Whatever. And... Ooh, what's that? Okay, the Dutch... Oh my god, that's, that's disgusting. Dutch Ethiopia? That is disgusting. Anything else I can do around here? Anything else? No, no. Colonial stuff, nothing in Siberia. Quite disappointing, but whatever. Makes sense. Everything's back at peace. They're done down here. What are you doing, Ching China? You know what? Go ahead. Go ahead, my friend. Go right on ahead. So that is done. That is great. We need someone down here against the Ottomans. Because Ottomans are people I don't trust. You come down here. Just in case. And build up some more forts well, as we're here, and build up another army in Europe. Well, the European side of here. One. Get some infantry. Grab two engineers. And there you go. Good. Another army. <clears throat> oh my goodness, there's so many forts we need to build. Uh, Japan? Nah. Struggle gets the Chinese a little bit. Next time, we'll just probably demand a substate region, probably. Trans. Oh! Oh, crises are unlocked. Hungary, Trans Danubia. You know what? I don't want to be the person backing this. Okay. As a great power, expected of us to assert our position. Yes, we are interested. Uh, I knew the Prussians would do that. I knew it. Maybe I should have done that. Hmm. It's too late now. But our armies, they're. We're spread across two continents. I mean. That's why I'm trying to build this up. Oh my goodness, Montenegro has just... Well, they're mil militant socialists. Everyone can vote down in... Well, Montenegro. It's not, I guess, that that bad. But we're going to start really working down our infamy, since there's not much else we can really do here. Uh, what's going on? Militant socialists. Nice. Who... What is the crisis like now, as we build up our forts? I do want more digging cap, though, because that's really good if we get attacked. Mm. Actually, Japan... Do that just in case. Crisis. <clears throat> France. Prussia. Now, what way is Italy going to go? Prussia? So it could be Italy, me, Prussia versus Austria and France. Oh, that sounds nice. Oh, that sounds really nice. Because the UK is at war with someone else. They, they're not going to be called in, as well as Japan. What am I looking at? Serbia? Yeah, Serbs. Nice. Oh, you know what? We're going to throw our support on this side. Now, it'll be interesting if we went on this side, but let's beat up Austria. Which means I'm going to need more armies. Oh my god, yeah, this is going to be terrible. 
Uh, you guys come over here. Hopefully we can bully them without doing too much. You know what, just in case. You guys... Oh god, there's no two socialists up there. Grab those guys over there. Co communists? Really? Really? Go ahead and put them down. Uh, Budget-wise... What's eating up the budget? Administration, that stuff. Intellectual support went down a little bit. Mm. Commies. Mm. Keep an eye on the crisis. Luxembourg. I'm okay, Luxembourg. Mm. Sax Weimar. Maybe I should have done more uh, military attacks. Oof. No, we good. Crisis wise, we're still there. All right. Triple team Austria. France will be probably a big problem, but you know that's okay. Nationalize the bank. I don't want to piss people off. No, let sleeping dogs lie. Good electricity. Oh, what's that? Commission of warship. Oh, that's all it is. Whatever. Now let's grab some army tax. Uh, army organization artillery hits. Point defense sounds like fun, but iron up muzzle loaded artillery. More attack and support. Ports. That seems pretty important right now, just in case we might get attacked. Brest. Oh, still militant socials down there. That's fine. Oh, who is this? Pr Prussia. How'd you get that? Um. Well, okay then. Oh, of course, of course the UK has declared war in Vietnam. Oh, of course they did, because why not? What else are they going to do? And before we do anything else, any factors that need to be expanded can be expanded. Yeah, this is disgusting. I knew, uh, disappointing, I can't do much. Oh, much more else there. Yeah, you might as well do that. We need to improve this army. Anything else around here? Fort-wise, probably not. Typhoid fever, quarantine them. Quarantines. Oh, and now we're at war. Oh, of course. I should have saw that coming. I should have kept a better eye on it, but whatever. So be it. Well, I hope everyone likes going to these guys for now. Premziel. Tarnopol. So now we're with the French. We're going to take off my colonies probably a little bit, which is disappointing. Austria, you know, whatever. Austria is Austria. Actually, can I call in my allies? No. We're not leader of the war. Prussian... War of Prussian... Or Hungarian freedom, whatever. You know what? Combine these groups together. We're gonna need some death stacks, or something bigger than what we currently have. We make no distinction. It's us three. This isn't a great war yet, but we have a lot of guys on our side, but I have a feeling it's not enough. I'm going to pull these guys over just in case. I really don't trust anything that goes on here. Siege him down first. See what happens, if you can. Uh, Hamburg. We are okay. Now, hopefully, Brush can hold off the French. That's a lot of French guys. Well, we'll smash the Austrians first, and then we'll see what happens. Oh, good. Good fortifications. Great. More defense. I love it. Um, the Prussians probably have that. Oh, hello. And boom. Nice. If anything, I do want to take East Galicia. That'd be great. Oh, I want to add a war goal. No distinction. Uh, anywhere else that we need to be immediately... Cheshen. I do not want to mobilize my reserves just because that, that really hurts your economy. It's good to do for massive military, but hurts your economy. Let's get some more army organization because that sounds pretty important right now. Uh, you guys. Come help them out. Just make sure you really smash the hell out of them. Excellent. Port Arthur Treaty Port. Great. Come on. Take the thing. Good. Cheshen. Oh, there's a stack right here. I'm going to do more stuff. Yeah, take Lemberg. Nice. Oh, nice. That's 40,000 guys lost. 21,000 for us lost. Come over here. Uh, 
I'm just slowly making sure that we have everything good. Oh, oh they need some help over there. Hmm. Austria calls for Congress. We've received word from Austria that they intend to hold a Congress of European powers in their capital. Well, we're going to be in their capital regardless to discuss the ability of the Ottomans to maintain stability in the Balkans. Some feel this is a veiled attempt to bolster the shaky empire's hold over the Middle East and balk Russian aggression. Hmm. Either way, we cannot let the Congress go without our attendance. We shall see what the manner of negotiation Austria has. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's going to be some negotiations. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what, man. Oh, you know what? Just in case, I'm going to pull these guys even further this direction. It seems like we could really use some guys down here. Hmm. Any other green? Yes, please. Go for Vienna. We're going to see you today. Oh, no. Prussia. Prussia. No. No. That's what I wanted. You piece of garbage. Get your or something. Oh, look. Guys here. Japan? Oh, you know, we think it's okay if you just stay over where you're at. Uh, God dang, I'm, we're going to have to destroy the UK once the first Great War happens, or something. They're just getting too strong with all these colonies. Which leaves a lot of potential for rebels. Alright, so after this, we're going to have to really make sure we take out the, the French. Mm, anywhere else? Yep, right there. Looks pretty good. Anywhere? Oh, right there. God, we're just flooding into Austria. Yeah, this isn't good for the economy, but you know what? It's only the economy. Who needs a good economy, right? Right, right. They declare war. Wait, hold on. You declare war on Vietnam again, or? No. Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Japanese Qing War. Oh, they want an unequal treaty, too. Oh. Huh. Oh, no, th no, the British are back at war with the Vietnamese. How did you do that? Why? They're so aggressive. How are they not limited by infamy? I don't think I will ever understand. Cool. Awesome. Great. Point defense system. Some of you guys are attacking. Some of you guys are just trying to siege stuff down. Good. Oh, you're done here. Great. You know what? I'm going to pull you guys over here, just in case we need help beating up some of the French. Anyone else? It looks like maybe... Uh, Korea, yes. Come on, siege you down faster. We need to help these guys out. They definitely must have built some forts around here. Cool. You guys are winning over there. I'm going to trust that. I need you guys over here. Because there's a French army, and I don't like that. Just in, oh, fuel refinery is nice. Great. Take me. Eh, I don't want to help them out too much. Come over here, help them out. Let's see. Anything else around here? Support the movement. Organic work. Sure. Hmm. Oh, right there. The good thing about Europe is that everything's really close together, unlike other provinces in the world. Good. Alright, so how is this army looking over here? Good, help beat. Wow, there's a lot of divisions. Interve intervention in Romania. We have been secretly approached by certain members within the Romanian government, suggesting that the Russian intervention to free them from foreign control might be in both our interests. Romania would be would be free to seek its own destiny while the Russian Empire would gain an ally. That catch is, of course, that is that the attempt could look like an interference to the rest of the world, and earns the enmity of Romania's rulers in particular. If we make the attempt, we should learn of the results within a week at most. We shall attempt... Oh, we got the infamy for it. We shall make an attempt. But, anyways, we got to end our episode there because the time has gone on long enough. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Did oh, What am I even saying? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow as we... We'll beat the Austrians and the French. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.